Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmagon and today I'm trying out uh, Guild Wars 2. I'm not stopping playing Final Fantasy, obviously, but um, why not try out some other MMOs? As you guys may know, for those who've been on the channel for at least a little bit now, um, um, I used to be a big WoW player and uh, for the longest time World of Warcraft has been my main MMO uh, until very recently, uh, about, I want to say, four or five months ago now. I 100% just gone, done, and uh, happily been playing FF since, and it's it's been one hell of a ride. I've enjoyed every minute of FF I've been playing, and um, throughout my years of playing MMOs and video games, I haven't really engaged in that many outside MMO, MMOs specifically outside of World of Warcraft. I played City of Heroes and Villains back in the day, Star Wars Galaxy, Star Wars The Old Republic are all games I have tried and played. But when it comes to some of the big WoW competitors that I have heard about over the years, like Guild Wars 2 or Final Fantasy, those were two that I never really uh, stepped into. I think I, I think I made an account with Guild Wars 2 at some point, but I just can't remember how long ago. Um, the only reason I uh, I really know that I did is because when I was when I came to getting the game, I I found that there were some saved credentials that I had. Uh, for the game, so I just used those to, and it got my account reinitialized, and just had to rebuy some stuff. But um, I picked up Guild Wars 2, and I want to give it a give it a try here. So real quick, let's uh, look over the races here. Humans uh, have lost their homeland, their security, and their former glory. Even their gods have withdrawn, and yet the human spirit remains unshaken. These brave defenders of Krita continue to fight with every ounce of their strength. Okay. Um, let's see here. The Char. The Char race was forged in the merciless crucible of war. It is all they know. War defines them, and their quest for dom dominion dr drives them ever onward. The weakling and fool. The weakling and the fool have no place among the Char. Victory is all that matters, and it must be achieved by any means and at any cost. Okay. The Norn. This race of towering hunters experienced a great defeat when the Ice Dragon drove them from their glacial homeland. Nevertheless, they won't let one lost battle, however punishing, dampen their enthusiasm for life and the hunt. They know that only the ultimate victor achieves legendary rewards. The Ashura. Uh, these al alchemical? I almost said alchemical, but it's al 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 alchemagical. Inventing words, Guild Wars. I respect that, and at the same time, really, <laughs> alchemagical inventors may be short in stature, but they're intellectual giants among the Ashura. So these are like the mage class. It's not the strong who survive, but the clever. Other races believe they should rule by virtue of their power and strength, but they are deluding themselves. In due time, we all we will serve the Ashura. Okay, so a bit of a, a bit of an arrogance there, but uh, okay. And the Silvari. Okay, so these are like the elves of the druidic race. Can already tell immediately. Uh, Silvari are not born. They awaken beneath the, the pale tree with knowledge gleaned in their pre-life dream. These noble beings travel seeking adventure and per, uh, pursuing quests. They struggle to balance curiosity with duty, eagerness with chivalry, and warfare with honor. Magic and mystery entwine to shape the future of this race that has no has so recently appeared. Okay, okay, so there's a lot going on here. <laughs> um, I don't know any lore about Guild Wars whatsoever, so for me, these descriptions are the most amount I've learned about the lore of this universe so far. But real quick, take the vol volume's a little high in the game. Alright, so, not knowing anything about the lore... And uh, I'm not entirely sure... So the Norn are just like giants, or like half giants, just really big Hagrid types. Um, humans being human. Char, I, I see horns there, and a bit of fur on the face. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, maybe like beast men? The Ashura, they kind of look like goblins. But even then, they look, they look different than normally portrayed goblins, so I, I'm not sure what to make of them there. And Silvari are basically elves, druidic type. Um, they're the only, other than the humans, they're the only recognizable thing. Um, I usually go for mage classes as like my first thing. 
but at the same time, I haven't even seen what the the uh, the classes are. All right, so I've decided we're gonna play the Ashura because I usually like to go for magical classes. So female or male? We're gonna go male. All right. Ooh. Okay. Now we're actually getting a proper look. Of it. Okay. So yeah, the straight up look like goblins, or a little bit actually like kind of like uh, house elves from uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> All right. So warrior. That's super cartoony. Guardian. Actually, let me actually read out the race, uh, the classes here. Warrior favors melee, high survivability, weapon master. Warriors build their adrenaline by successfully striking an enemy, then expend it to unleash devastating burst attacks. Warriors are versatile and resilient fighters. Uh, Guardian. Guardians gain powerful personal enhancements from their virtues, which they can briefly expend to aid friends and damage foes. Formidable on their own, Guardians shine brightest in the company of allies. So Guardians read kind of like a paladin, almost. Actually, that kind of the aesthetic kind of looks like a paladin. Revenant. Now this looks interesting. And super edgy. What the hell? Revenant. Melee or ranged. Invokes legendary heroes, magic wielding fighter. Revenants invoke the power of legendary heroes from Tira's past. Tyria's past, spending their own energy to channel the abilities used by those figures. They are reliable allies and dangerous enemies. That tells me nothing about how the class actually plays, though. Ranger, uh, favors ranged, uh, so this is like the archer, archer, druid, hunter type. I'm assuming rangers tar uh, tame a variety of pet companions to complement their fighting style, rounding out their arsenal with traps, nature spirit. Yeah, so it's the it's like the hunter from. Uh, it's like the hunter class from uh, World of Warcraft. Thief, uh, don't even really need to read this one. It's the rogue type archetype, but uh, thieves manage their initiative during initiative during combat, expending it to unleash carefully timed attacks. What they lack in defense, they make up for with skills to de debilitate, teleport, and vanish from sight. Engineer, okay. Uh, melee or ranged, gadgets, turrets, and toolkits, technomancer, okay. Engineers are jacks of all trades, and with enough time, masters of many able to... Able to bring dozens of abilities and tool belt skills to a fight, their art is in choosing the right one to utilize at the perfect time. Okay, that's... that's interesting. Uh, Mesmer. Masters of magical misdirection. Mesmer's cre okay, so this is like an... this is like the illusionist kind of class. The, uh, and Shatter Clone, Mesmer create, uh, Magical Misdirection, Mesmer's Create, and Shatter Clones. Shatter Clones. I almost read that like Shadow Clones. Uh, and illusions of themselves in battle. Mesmer's rely on evasion and subterfuge, requiring finesse and practice to perfect. Elementalist. Okay. Well, that's an interesting armor set up there. Uh, elementalists harness the power of the four elements, water, earth, fire, and air, to cast powerful spells. Their ability to change their elemental attunement mid-combat is versatile, but difficult to master. Alright, and I saved this one for last because this is the first time I've seen a straight necromancer in any in any RPG I've played in a while. Necromancer, okay. Favors ranged, summons minions, dark magic. Necromancers of Tyria are monsters on the battlefield, draining life force from their enemies and entering a death shroud that temporarily grants them powerful abilities and protects them from harm. Eek. Okay, I, I immediately am drawn to the Necromancer. I think that actually looks really interesting. The second one I'm most interested in is Elementalist. These are the, the two mage classes, and that's typically what I go for for like starting out. One's a versatile caster, the other one's dark magic. Now, I'm not sure... I don't... I, I... This is one of those really hard things for me, because it's two branches of magic. One is that dark, edgy, badass necromancer summoning the undead, making them service you in battle. The other's a standard mage type, where it's fire, water, earth, <laughs> wind, <laughs> the avatar. <laughs> But both are oftentimes super fun to play in games like this, and I'm wondering if the Necromancer is going to feel more like a Warlock did in World of Warcraft for a while, or if we're going to straight get into summoning skeletons and shit. I, uh, I really don't know. 
I've played a standard mage in so many different games. I think I'm gonna go with a necromancer because it's been a, it's been a long time since I played a straight necromancer type. All right, I think that does it for our character. So let's uh, jump right on into the game. Oh, hello. No, we still have five more steps to go. Never mind. Though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with dignity. I'm a member of I'm a member in good standing of the College of S Statics. My first invention was an infinity ball, and one day my adoring fans will say that I have surpassed even my first advisor, Master Bronk. A necromancer's closest companion is death. In acknowledgement of this, I mark my face with the symbol of a trickster demon. This is my story. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can sign this. I don't know if I want to go with my character's name. Let's go with Zungi. Did that work? That was the first name I tried. I am Asura. I personify genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. I'd hope so. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. Bold, strong, I like it. By studying the eternal alchemy, we learn to see the world as a concrete framework. I believe that a steadfast structure requires a firm foundation. I belong to the College of Statics. I surround myself with individuals I respect and who respect me. Collaboration induces excellence. Which is true. It, being able to conglomerately work together to achieve a goal, 100%. The crews That's true. of my college are builders. Planners. Creators. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix and make my name doing so. The imbeciles. <laughs> I will construct the edifice of a better world. A world devoid of chaos and destruction. This is my story. Alright, alright. I kinda like I kinda like that intro. Our character's voiced. I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about Guild Wars uh, over the years, both Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2, and I'm curious to see what of it. All right, now available to play Guild Wars: Path of Fire. This this story episode will activate a little lady. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so same idea. Yeah, I did buy that like triple pack thing. I always want. I want. I bought the full experience. It's a, it's a it's one of those games that's pay to play. So I was a lot more incentivized to do that. Okay, nice. What the hell are you? Alright, real quick, I gotta map the controls. There's a there's a catastrophic... Man, I can voice that. There's a catastrophic glitch in the Golem control system. In brief, they've they've all gone completely loopy. Find Peacemaker Gezi. She'll get to the bottom of this. Peacemakers, they're no help. Sure, sure they are. Well, some of them are. Okay, a few are. But Gezi's one of the good ones. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, so where do I find my objective? Okay, so there's uh, up here in the corner. Stop the hostile bombs. Okay. Oh, it's auto attacking with that. Nice. You can you can kind of see the game. I haven't the energy. What the? What's all this then? Wait, why was I doing a dodge action before? Oh, was it because I double-clicked? 
Okay, ooh, okay, so there's a dodge mechanic. Hold on, I'm kind of trying to learn a little bit about the controls there. Alright, so I click it once and it auto resolves. Okay. What is your prediction? It's pure chaos out here. Okay. So a very very cin cinematic way. Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them, and by someone she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Okay, I really like that. So a very cinematic wave. I, that's probably not going to happen with all quests. That's probably only going to happen like that. So, so far we've had a small taste of the combat, and we've had a small taste of, like, how quests are picked up. At least main story style quests. Interesting. Okay. You can, graphically, you can definitely see the game's age a little bit. Um, but it doesn't look bad. The, the art style doesn't look bad or terrible. It looks akin to the older games, uh, the older games market for, like, MMOs. Which I like, but I, I'm just saying immediately you can kind of feel the age a little bit. In terms of ability bar, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five core abilities, and then as I read them in the key bindings, uh, we have five support abilities, plus uh, which one of which is a healing ability and one's a special ability. So if also in the one of the few things I learned about the game over the years, or at least heard, is that the abilities in the game are kind of like an Albion online. Which are defined by what weapon you have equipped. Well, in Albion, it's all the clothes you're wearing, but... In this game, as I understand it... Uh, but in, in this game, it's entirely defined by what you have equipped for a weapon. Apprentice? Okay. Gone through the portal. Get in there quickly. She'll need your help. I'm going. Alright, we have arrived. And they they really throw you into the ringer immediately. Like, very little has been explained. I kind of like that. It's like, it's trial by fire type deal. You're looking a little wobbly, dear. You won? Did that scramble your I've brain invited brain? another guest to your victory party. Looks like the guest of honor has arrived. Let's take it down. Alrighty. That looks really interesting. And quirky. Alright, so... Ah, okay. So we gotta target that specific- Ow! I got whacked. Crap. Wait, am I supposed to- a little wobbly, dear. Did that scramble your brainwaves? I just keep getting flung back. Alright, so, yeah, that's the, me that's the mechanic area. I don't wanna- I don't wanna be getting hit by the mechanics. God damn it. I feel like I'm missing something here. My energy is diminished. Is that all you've got? I've made sturdier golems in my sleep. Yeah, force me to use my healing ability, why don't you? Scratch one cube is gone. A lot just happened, and I am not keeping track of much of it very well. Let's see how you when somebody fills your masterpiece. I barely did anything. I just got flung around a lot. I don't even know why. Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. It takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. <laughs> Modest, too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. That was quick. So, basically just told me, hey, grab some side quests and earn... I got another hatchet. Okay. Yes, yes. Not... Not usually the type of weapon I think of when I think of I necromancer. To satisfaction. Contamination. 
Oh, I gotta we clean up after a spill of magical energy. The content guides guide points the way to nearby events, renowned hearts, scouts, and unexplored areas. Check here if you're ever lost and looking for something to do. Okay. I I am so confused. There's so much is like just whacking, smacking you in the face of this game immediately. Man, it feels overwhelming a little bit. Like uh, immediately, that's like one flaw I'll throw at the game is I just started up like maybe 20 minutes ago max. Uh, for, like actually like in game leveling and doing that kind of stuff and. N Initially, I'm entirely confused. I'm lost. I'm not sure what's going on. I've very, very big, high pressure wall to climb over. Oh, at first I thought it was a little charming, but it's, it's really fast. And I'm kind of lost already. Entirely, what's going on? I experiment on inactive golems, repair golem control panels, subdue haywire golems, and organize tool boxes along the road to in, inside nearby labs. Okay, so <clears throat> it's just a series of events we gotta do. A bit of a platforming here. Although I don't think I can fall off that. So, not hardcore. I don't know if they're more closer to goblins or gnomes. Or dwarves. I'm kind of getting all three cultures kind of meshed together into one. I like the goblin aesthetic. And I also like the techiness uh, of kind of like gnome dwarvish culture. So it's kind of a. I really like the Ashura, uh, the Azura. Is it Azura? Ashura? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it, I'm, I'm really liking where it's at right now with them. Oh, hello. Alright, so we found a point of interest. Oh, so just. My ideas deviated too. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like uh, finding a. It's like kind of like an Assassin's Creed where you find a high point and unlock support of the map, or or is it even more just kind of meh? Okay, cool. I guess I'm not sure what that achieved, but <laughs> interesting. Young ones are so demanding, the progeny are eager to... Oh, okay, we have, li we have little gob gobbles. Sorry, a little Uh There are get there are guests teaching appar apparatuses stationed around the area. Use them to perform demonstrations for the progeny and allow them to experiment. Their okay, so they don't even refer to them as kids, the, the progeny. Some progeny may have questions for more knowledgeable geniuses like you and me. It's a safety issue. Exterminate it. Okay. Uh, try to help these impressionable progeny in any way that you can. Yes. Okay. Must remain uh, unreprimanded. Must not remain unreprimanded. Okay. I have an offer for you. Come here. Why do people keep? What do you mean you have an offer for me? What? Uh, Fuck off. Uh, Ah, okay, so we do loot. Do we do loot? All right, level four. Weapon unlock. Weapon skill unlock three. Okay. Banking and points of interest. Gotcha. All right, so I got another ability here. Uh, unholy feast. Cripple nearby foes and convert their boons into conditions. Release an unholy burst and foes below. Okay, is it an AOE? It seems to. It has a decent radius, 180. Three, max number of targets is three, damage 45. Okay, so yeah, it's an AOE. Alright, so we've unlocked a new, uh, new uh, waypoint. That's interesting. Uh, do I have to swim across? Or what do I gotta do here? Real quick, let's grind out some of these things just to make sure I'm level five when I go over there. Just make sure I'm the necessary level. Script brain idiot! All right, now the time to learn how to dodge. Piccolo would be proud. Dodge! Ah, recognition. All 
All right. All right. There's a lot, and I'm gonna get a mass amount of dislikes if I say anything too bluntly. All right. So first thing to note about Guild, my my initial uh, foray into Guild Wars 2. This is a first impressions. This part right here is more of a first impressions. Keep in mind, I'm only about an hour into the game. Um, I would keep playing. But it's late at night, it's almost 1 a.m., and I think this is a good place to, to call it for, like, the like the very, very initial foray into the game. And, um, as of right now, I'm not really hooked by the game at all. Um, it, it seemed really, it seemed like it really had a good uh, start with the character creation. Uh, asking questions that, like, how your character would handle it. And, yeah, I'm only giving you three options, but it's still something. Uh, of, like, three different variations of, like, three three parts of your character's identity coming, uh, ranging from how they would handle certain situations to what part of this world do do they connect with? Are they part of the school, the college of static and stuff like that? All of that was really interesting and engaging. And that really set up initially my expectation that, that, that I was really gonna, like, jump into the world and I was gonna feel connected to it and, uh, as soon as I got in the game, it dropped me in, in into a situation with a very brief, a nice cinematic uh, explanation of like where where my character is and everything. But it, it felt it still felt so abrupt. It felt so I felt like almost like I smacked into a wall almost. And I don't know, like I I I gotta say I'm really not hooked by the game right now. Uh, I'm an hour in and. The, 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 there's no quest text. Uh, there's one. There's been one, uh, one or two cinematic, cinematic style like conversations with characters, but so far, uh, one hour in, doing a bunch of side act, uh, doing a bunch of those uh, open world kind of quest things to level up. Uh, it's 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 interesting. I, I find I find the system engaging, but nothing's hooked me thus far. And it, it, am I saying the game is bad? I can't I can't say that. I'm only an hour in. That's for an MMO, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. And I acknowledge that these initial impressions are are very likely to change. But it doesn't change what they are currently. And th this hour, just a little over an hour into the game, nothing's hooked me, and I'm and I'm and I'm kind of confused a little bit on what's going on. I feel like I feel like the game hasn't done a very good job at it at it really selling to me in this initial hour like why I should keep playing I I feel dropped into nothing hopefully hopefully that'll change really quickly maybe there's just, maybe I'm just being being too judgmental over just an hour I mean that's that's hardly anything with an MMO and again I acknowledge this is a very very initial first impressions I'm not stopping here I'm gonna give it more of a chance obviously an hour is nothing it's an MMO so I'm gonna keep playing it, keep, keep trying to learn. I might look or go, look up a couple videos in my in my personal time, maybe even while I'm editing this one, just to see if uh, just to kind of like learn a little bit more about it from a content content creator's perspective. Uh, that way, that might help me get hooked a little bit more. But as for what the game has done for itself to get me hooked, I'm not really feeling anything. Like FF really hooked me. Yeah, the cinema, the the cinem the cinematography, the the initial foray into into Eorzea, the that for me final fantasy hooked me like nearly instantaneously here i'm getting the exact opposite like i, I, I just there's nothing like hooking me and i'm and I'm, I'm really desperate to see if something will next time I, I i sit down to play a little bit more of it i'm not going to stream this game quite yet like as it is again this video is probably not going to go down very well by the hardcore of hardcore guild wars 2 fans um who are like oh my god new player and here in this part you guys are probably going to be mad at me but Keep in mind, I'm not done, I'm not giving in, and this isn't like a final review or anything like that. I'm, I'm definitely not telling anybody not to try the game out. Uh, it's just, this one, this first hour, bit rough, bit rough. I'm, I'm hoping that'll, that'll change. I'm definitely hoping that'll change. But for now, that's that's my perspective. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, there's, there's more to it, though. I'm, I'm sure there's more to it. The game wouldn't have survived this long if the... If that was the end, I'll be all of it. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. And, uh, you know, um, if you're uh, an experienced player of Guild Wars 2, don't spoil any story related stuff, but tell me, like, you know, tell me a little bit, like, what you like about the game, what the game has to offer. What, what, what do I have to look forward to as I as I continue my foray into the game? And, uh, yeah. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.